Today's project is, uh, is a boat buckle. Don't know if you've used those old fashioned straps, but they really are no, just no fun. This one's pretty easy uh, for our set. It's about $100. They work kind of like a seat belt, but we'll get into that. Boat buckle is, uh, you know, it's not too big. It weighs a few pounds. It comes with a bolt, a few washers, and a nut for installation. You will need a drill. Well, this included bolt is 7 16 so you would need a 7 16 drill bit. I took a few things into consideration before I made the install. I've got the loop where the strap's gonna attach and we have the frame. Um, for me, a straight line would interfere with my license plate. So I'm thinking more of an angle, kind of to be midway between the light and the license plate. A couple things to think about when you're installing before you drill your holes in the frame. Your trailer light wires are inside that channel important to make sure that the wires are away and that when you attach the bolt and nut, attach the nut to the other side and with washer, you don't pinch those wires behind any of that. Be sure to, you know, pull them up and away. And then tuck them back in where they belong when you get through. Placement's important. You need to be sure that the boat buckle is lower than your bunks. I mean, it kind of makes sense, but you may not think about it, but when you're looking for your placement to where to put them, Need to be lower than the bunks because when your boat re-enters a trailer, you don't want it to hit on the boat buckles. They need to be lower. The only thing they need to touch is, is the bunks. Hopefully when your boat's loading, this part of the bunk is actually not, you know, near the top of the water and they're well submerged, but you just never know. You sure don't want to take that chance. Got it measured, marked off. I used a set punch to make sure my drill was, would be right in the middle. Now we're going to finish drilling the hole. So the buckle itself, it's closed. It's really hard, you know, maybe get a ratchet in line with the nut or the bolt. As you can see, it's behind there. However, it completely open up if you pull on it so that you can get a ratchet with your long extension and socket in line with the, with the bolt. So this kit, this kit comes with a bolt, a nut, and two washers. I'm going to place one washer. I'm going to place one washer behind the bolt buckle. So it's between the bolt buckle and the frame. So that if it pivots, it doesn't scratch up any of the area. The buckle itself won't actually touch the tra trailer. It'll be separated by it'll be separated by the washer. Now nothing to do but run it home, tighten the uh, nut and the bolt. So I still have a I still have one nut and a washer. These will go behind the frame on the other side. Okay, so we have the bolt buckle now installed. Strap is strap is secure. It works really easy. There's a lever behind it says release. It's on each side. Uh, you push it, and that releases the strap, just like a seatbelt, and it automatically retracts back into the bolt buckle. I'm sure you've seen this. That's why you're watching the video. To reattach, you pull back out, hook it. There is a there's a lever inside this buckle. You have to move with your fingers. You just grab the lever. The black the black is a tab behind there. Pull it forward with the gray. Click. Click. It's tight. Two clicks, it's tight. It's ready to go. Got them on both sides now. Time we hit the water. 